Tonight, an upsetting accident in Cobb County as a man stepping off a public bus on Ernest Barrett Parkway in Kennesaw dies minutes later. Officials saying he fell into a concrete gutter and what happened next killed him. Atlanta News First Amanda Rose spoke with his family who say they're angry and they want answers. I was in the state of shock. I had to because I have asthma. My chest got really tight. You know, I couldn't I couldn't say nothing. Cynthia Haskins still can't believe her ex husband, Stevie Eugene Haskins, is gone. Haskins, who now lives in North Carolina, says she had just spoken with the 65 year old on Friday, the day he was killed. After hearing how he died, her shock turned to anger. The bus driver should have made sure that every everybody was clear because I know the bus drivers here, they don't take off until every they make sure everybody has walked away. Police say Haskins had just exited a Cobblink Transit bus on Barrett Parkway at Chaston Meadows Parkway at 731 at night. As he walked east on the sidewalk, he fell next to the bus, partially on the sidewalk and partially in the concrete gutter. Just how big the bus is, you know, they had those blind spots. The driver had no idea that the patron had fallen. Police say Haskins leg was trapped underneath the bus and he was run over. By the time an ambulance got there, it was too late. It's a freak accident, you know. The, the driver had, had no idea that, that guy was laying there. Haskins' ex-wife tells us she's not satisfied with that answer. She still has questions, and those questions may lead to legal action. More could have been done to save his life. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if, every, if the bus driver would have waited to make sure that make sure that people walk away. And he was a very sweet person, and he didn't deserve this. Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First. Please don't expect to file charges. Now, we did reach out to Cobb County asking what their procedures are for bus drivers making sure people get off safely before driving off. They won't comment until this investigation is over.